light. Hello, excuse you? Don't play with me. I got a question that I wanna ask you. Oh, hello beautiful people, welcome back to another vlog. Happy Friday, fun day. Um, you guys, this lotion right here is absolutely everything. It's a body cream. I am rushing and I have a question for you. How long does it take you to get ready? Like say for instance, you're going out with your girls, your boo, your bae, whatever. This is particularly date night. How long does it take you to get ready? Like. Seriously, no matter how early I start, I am always rushing and I'm always late. Am I just slow? Am I doing too much? Like what is it? You guys, I promise you, it takes me like three and a half, four hours to get ready. What in the world? Okay, that is shower, uh, exfoliating, dry brushing, hydrating, moisturizing, stopping, getting on my phone. Dang, that's the problem. I already know it is. Um, watching YouTube videos, putting on my rings. Um, and I and then my guy comes up. He's like, "You're almost ready." I'm like, "Am I almost ready?" Like, boy, I'm just now sitting down to put the makeup on. You know what I mean? And so he's like, "Um, you do, are you in focus?" He's like, "You do know we're leaving in like 20 minutes." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I haven't even picked up the camera yet." This is why I'm working on my vlogging skills. Anyways, you guys, I'm carrying this bag tonight. Um. This is what it is. I threw it together quick, okay? I didn't have a lot of time um, to play with it. I always stuff my bags when they're not in use. So um, this is like girl bubble wrap um, that I stuff it with. So tonight, what am I taking? <sighs> but I'm always rushing. So can you take 2.5 and leave in the comment section below how long it takes you? Okay, what I'm putting in my bag. Chanel compact powder, Chanel blotting strips, hand sanitizer. These are the individual wipes. I don't believe in touching people's hands anyways. Even long before 2019, 2020, I wasn't a big hand shaker. Ugh, it was just like something that I was like not a fan of. Chanel hand cream for tonight. Oriana body spray. No, what is this? Uh, fragrance for tonight <laughs> just in case another hand sanitizer eyelash glue and if, for those of you who have been following the channel for a long time follow me on Instagram snapchat you already know I get out to dinner I probably get tired I don't know my eyes start watering I'm always crying at dinner for some reason I'm always not not a bad cry you guys a good cry I am a crier I am a crier let's be clear about that I cry happy tears and tears of joy all the time. I am so grateful and so thankful for everything that God has done for me. And when I look back over my life and all the things that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, and I get excited. So anyways, um, long story short story, she carries eyeliner or eyelash glue with her. I gotta breathe. I am rushing because I should have been downstairs already and I still have to do this back. Okay, so then I have a mask, um, a spare mask, and then the mask that I have. I think that they have taken the mask off. You don't have to wear them, but you guys, I've been wearing them for so long, I don't even know how to feel without it. But I am gonna stop soon though because the breakout was clearing up and then I went out over the weekend um, with the grouse for a boat trip and I had the mask on and off here and there and it kind of flared back up again. So I will be happy when this whole thing is over. I think I'm gonna book myself a facial so that I can um, start taking care of my skin. And then I am bringing my um, purse hook. You know, this is a purse hook. We were out to dinner, quick 2.5. And I'm not judging you if this is something that you do because everybody is different. But we were out to dinner and I seen this lady and we were outside, it was outside, and this lady had her whole handbag on the floor. You know, there were dogs running back and forth, there were people, there were just, and it's just like your handbag on the floor, like I don't even allow shoes in my home. Like when we get to the door, it's like take your shoes off. We don't do shoes inside of the house. And I also, fun fact about me, care, I also wear house shoes, or you know, whatever you call them, house shoes, house slippers, whatever, in the house. And then I have sock, sock, <laughs> socks that I wear in the house but the socks that I wear in the house do not go in my bed like okay if I wear socks around my house walking cleaning up doing whatever we do in the house right I don't take those same socks and put them in my bed like it can't work like that like I have a specific drawer by my bed that are called bed socks so when I get from the downstairs to the upstairs and I go in my bedroom to go to bed I take my socks out of my sock drawer, put them on my feet, and then put my feet in the bed. They do not touch the floor. Because whatever you've been walking around with all day on the floor, I just feel like that's in my bed. And I keep a very clean home, but at the same time, I just don't do that. It, it just, it's not for me. It, it may not be for everybody, but that's not for me. Anyways, I'm back to my purse hook, so why I carry a purse hook. I never put my purse on the ground. I told you guys that, the handbag. So this is what you do. If you watch my Instagram or my videos, I showed you this. 
you put the table or the thing on the hook and then this hits it like that and then your bag is held up the entire night so that you don't have to have it on the ground never okay so that's what i have inside my bag i am about to start sweating it is so hot and okay so my bag is ready to go i put my rings on hair is herring okay and slick that down a little bit don't get too close I always tell you don't get too close don't get too close don't get too close and i put this on this is called royal sandalwood it's a body butter i will be sharing more with you guys about skin potion is that's what it's called yeah this was sent over by skin potion they sent it over for me to try out i was super excited it smells absolutely amazing i love sandalwood it's really good and it's kind of shiny um look at this i already put some on but look at the the sheen that it gives you she loves that um, I love for my legs to look like this, especially in the summer and the spring when you have like a short skirt. You're showing a little leg or a little gam, as my grandmother would say. It's really cute. So yeah, so that's that. Oh, I was thinking about taking the camera with me. Um, let me know if you guys are enjoying these going out to dinners or date nights or uh, vlogs or whatever because that's what I do. You know what I mean? I always go out. This is what I do. Um... But it could get redundant and repetitive because it's the same thing over and over. But if you like it, I love it, okay? If you like it, I love it. That is it for tonight. I'm just wearing this, um, what is this called again? Hound's tooth print um, blouse. I've worn it before. Big, big, big sleeves here. Um, I'm all about a drama sleeve dueling. Hello, dueling. And my fragrance of the night, I know, right? I've been going back and forth on what I wanted to wear tonight. Oh, and I definitely want to spice up my lip a little bit. But I don't know how much. I don't know if I want to wear a color. This is pretty, right? Oh, see, once you put it on, you've got to fully commit. And I've already told you I have commitment issues. And this is nude, so I can kind of play with this. This is by NYX. This is called Butter, Cla Butter Gloss. It's in the shade uh, Cream Brulee. And it's really pretty because it just looks like a flush, nudie pink that matches mm, my real lips. So I kind of am here for that. You know what I mean? It's not doing too much. But I might bring this one just in case I feel like being that growl later on tonight. You know what I mean? After dinner, I might bring this. But I hate when you're out to dinner and they bring you over your your glasses for your water or wine or champagne or you know I don't drink soda but whatever it is that you drink you know what I mean and then you go and drink and then there's a lipstick around uh, uh, stain around it and that's what this one does so that's why I would have to apply this after dinner I have some that don't leave a stain but I don't have time to change right now so this is a lip this is what it's going to be I need to put this in my bag just in case okay note to self put it in your bag watch me forget tonight I think I'm gonna wear this I've been playing with this someone asked about this and so um, I thought I shared with you so I think I am gonna wear this I was gonna reach for a rose four by um, Florist London, but I may wait and wear that on another date night And I think I'm gonna wear Mason Francis Kirk John. This is called Hermes Femme I hope I'm saying that right Extrait de Parfum and it looks like this I'll put a picture up so that you guys can see it But I have like four or five of these huge little samples here, so I am gonna play with this I want this to be my scent of the night. I am thinking of picking up a full bottle you guys of this particular one now Listen, we're not rubbing. Okay. We don't do that over here, but we do tap. Okay. We do tap definitely darling It makes it mm, just a tad bit more fancy for me. I told you I def. Oh god. This is good This reminds me of the holidays Oh my god, I wore this around Christmas and Thanksgiving and oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't know if I ever talked to you guys about this or not. Now remember I told you, you gotta go in, you gotta go in, you gotta go in. Okay, you gotta go in. Get the entire body. And I think I'm gonna wear my cape coat tonight. Oh, I better take this with me just in case I want to fresh up. But I have a few more of these here to try out. But I think I am gonna take this in my handbag just in case. Hold on a second. You know when you walk past people and you just want to leave that scent trail? You know what I mean? I like to walk in a room and smell my own self. You know, I mean, I'm here for me. You know, you know, she showed up for her. She's doing it for her. Okay, I'm doing it for me. If you're that girl, you already know. Hey, you guys really enjoyed that last video. I enjoyed I enjoyed meeting so many of you that was like, I'm that girl. Hashtag, I'm that girl. Yes, guys, we are those girls. And you know what? There was something. Oh, I thought he was calling me. Okay, listen, a quick 2.5 and then I have to go. There was um, someone in the comment section that said, you know, um, I think I was talking about Creed Aventus for her, which we all know is a pretty pricey fragrance. I'm looking at it back there. 
I was gonna grab it, but I'll, I'll pop a picture up because I don't wanna mess up my display. Anyways, um, but yeah, we all know that Creed Aventus for her was, is a very expensive fragrance, and so I was referencing that fragrances, that fragrance, but not in the terms of really referencing the fragrance when I say if you're that girl, you, you know, you're that girl. When I say you're that girl, that girl is whatever you deem it to be. It's really to me about having confidence and to just believe in yourself. I don't need a certain price tag of a fragrance, of a bag, of jewelry. They're all nice to have, so don't get me wrong. You know she enjoys it and she loves all things fancy and fabulous, darling. But with or without it, wherever I was or wherever I am in the stage that I'm in, I'm still that girl because I am me and you have to have that confidence in yourself that you are that girl. We don't need things, price tags, labels, statuses, numbers, although they're all good. We don't need those things to define us, you know what I mean? You have to be able to be defined by your own measure and not by what people think about you. People talked about Jesus. Okay, they're definitely gonna talk about you. They talked about him. One day they were praising him, they loved him, he rode in, he was all the hero. A couple days later, girl, they was ready to crucify him, spit on him, and hang him. So that's just people, you can't please everybody. So you have to know that you know that you know, even when they don't know, you still have to know that you're that girl. And I believe we're all that girl. You guys have to go. Okay, <laughs> I really do have to go. Seriously, I have to go get my cape coat, okay? Full OOTD, who knows? It's not even worth it. It's just my same black leggings, pants, blouse. I mean, whatever. That is it, you guys. I have to go. I really, <laughs> I really do have to go. I'm going to keep the vlog going throughout the entire weekend. So I will definitely call you back again soon. So hold on. Answer your phone. I'm going to go out to dinner. I'm going to be right back. And then I'm going to pick you up and we're going to talk about it. Okay, bye. I thought I'd share with you guys how I store my fragrances really quick, like my fragrance samples, like the Chanel boxes that we get, you know. I use them, I label them here, MFK, that just, you know, all the stuff that I ordered from MFK, half of it, and then um, I get my samples and I put them here, and this is what I mean when I say try before you buy. Now, some people enjoy blind buying, have at it, that is totally up to you. I'm talking about try before you buy, this is what I mean. So this is a fragrance that I sample. And it's on my list. It is this one here. Come on, thing, focus. It's this one here. So this is the one that I am contemplating getting. It smells really, really good. And I have been playing with it. They also have one for men. I am looking for new fragrances to pick up. That's why I'm going through my sample boxes right now. There's nothing out right now that I've smelled that I really like. You guys, these are a couple of new sizes that they are offering on the MFK website. Actually, they're not new. You know, I think they've been out for a while. But if you didn't want to get a full bottle of MFK uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 or Oud Satin Mood, they do have these. And you can get these in a combo pack. Like, you can get both of these inside of one. And then I just have more samples over here. And this is the one that I'm actually wearing tonight. All right, it's time to get out of here. Okay, you guys, you see my purse mount there, and it's holding my purse. It's holding my handbag. So this is what I brought that I showed you at home, and you see how it's holding my handbag? Because we do not put handbags on the floor. No dwelling. Can you put my bag
It is over. Good night, beautiful people. It's dark. There's no light. And I'm probably going to get copyright written for this. Okay, I have to go. You guys, I have to end the vlog here. Well, not the vlog, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. It was so dark in there. I'm sorry. You couldn't see anything. I couldn't see anything. I have to get my seatbelt on safety first. And I have to turn this light off because we have to go. So I will see you tomorrow. You have to rush, honey, bye. I do have to rush because the people are waiting in the line. Bro, you just went to dinner. Ain't no one for you. <laughs> oh. My purse fell on the floor. Darn. You know I don't like my bag on the ground. Where's it at? Oh, that. I got it. No, I got it. Okay, seriously, you guys. It was really nice. Um, it was really good. My food was absolutely amazing. I got the fish. I stayed sort of, kind of, on my fitness plan with my eating. I got, what did I get? Salmon? No. Sea bass. Sea bass. You know I'm not a big fish person, okay? This is new to me. Um, I got sea bass and I got this, I don't know, black and thin, thin rice. And what else did I get? Oh, that's it. And they brought out like bread, jalapeno cornbread, which was amazing. Yeah, my mashed really? <laughs> really? Um, uh, baby did share some of his mashed potatoes with me. You guys, they're my favorite, but I, I didn't get garlic sharing. french fries. Yeah, I don't think that was sharing. It was sharing. You it offered was, it to me, no, and I gave you I half of mine, too. Sean, don't start it. Don't take. start it. Anyways, no. I gave him half of my Branzino. No, you didn't have Branzino. What did I have? <laughs> I know, but what's the name of the rice? Wow, it was like a black rice. It was like a blackened rice, because it was a very thin, beautiful rice. It was really good. But anyways, I'm, I'm still, if I had to right now, I could still go to a Mexican restaurant and get some nachos and a burrito. I'm just saying, I'm that hungry. But I told myself I'm satisfied because summer's coming. We have less than 120 something days till summer. Don't quote me on that. But something like that. It's coming, it's coming. And you know, she needs to be ready. I know, but if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. But that 2020, we don't want to talk about it. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a good night. Um, stay by your phone because I'm going to call you back soon. Okay, girl. Bye. Hello beautiful people and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday Sunday. We are headed to, yep, you guessed it. Oh, excuse me. Did you hear his car? It said a bad word. Um, anyway, yes it did. It said the B word. Anyways, um, you guys, uh, we are heading to brunch and then we are going to go somewhere I have not been in over two and a half years or three years. How long has it been since I've been to the movies? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years, I haven't been to the movies. But Batman has come out and somebody is dying to see it. So I'm gonna try and go. Now normally I don't do well sitting still in a movie for a really long period of time unless it's like a rom-com or like something like that. But it's, only it's three hours long. Maybe. And it's three hours long, you guys. That's a long time. But um, we're gonna go because we do what we do um, for each other. So I'm gonna go and sit through Batman for three hours. Hopefully it's really entertaining. I will let you guys know. But before we do, we're gonna stop and get something to eat. I am gonna try and do a little bit of quick shopping. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get in because the movie starts at four. And I am with the particular person who likes to be there like really on time. Um, like I'm last minute, I just show up. Cause the seats are bought. We already paid for the seats. We already know where we're sitting and everything like that. But my guy likes to get there like way in advance because um, that's just who he is, and that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, somebody's calling me. Okay, you guys, I'll call you back. I've always wanted to try this right here. Is this 01? This is 01. Let's try it. Well, they have all of them. Okay, you guys, I finally made it over to Bond 9. Let's see if I can find the one that I was looking for, which is Madison Ave. Um, I think I see it there. I don't want the large one. And Greenwich Village is what I'm looking for also. And Tribeca. So I will let you know what I think of those. Oh my God, look at her, all over it already. Well, thank you, my dear. You're welcome. So there you go, Greenwich Ooh. Village. Greenwich Village, Tribeca, and Madison Ave. What is your favorite out of those? Tribeca. Tribeca, okay. Sure. Oh, and the bottle is white. You guys, I love a white and gold bottle. Oh my gosh, okay. 
And the bond fragrances are all, sh the bottles are shaped like a starfish. Okay. So that you can hold on to them and not drop, drop them. them. Got it. That makes sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. Can you this guess? This is my favorite men's. Laffy, oh, I smelled that one before. This is her favorite men. So have you guys tried this one? Lafayette? I think I'm saying it right. If I'm not, you already know. Forgive me. So, stay tuned. Madison Avenue? Yeah, Madison Avenue. Ooh, you'll see which one I am going to take home with me. I know. That one smells more unisex, right? It's unisex. They're all unisex, yeah. I believe. All unisex. Okay, smell this one. Because this is the one that... I'm having my guy smell them, you guys, to see what he thinks about them. I like that. I like that one, right? Yeah, I like that one. And it's pink. It's different. Oh my god, it's good. It's different. I don't have anything like this. This is the one I'm smelling currently. So good. We also do a little. Oh my gosh, not the body cream. Not the her coming cream. with the body cream. How pretty this is. Oh, it is. Oh gosh, it's good. Okay, okay, okay. It, okay, this kind of giving me, and don't judge me, Delina vibes. Just a tad bit, just a tad bit. A little bit. A little bit, it's right? Got, yeah, it's got lychee in it's it. It's got lychee in it. I knew I smelled a little Delina in there. I I'd have to look them up because I don't have them all memorized. So <sighs> okay, we have Madison Ave, you guys. We also have Greenwich Village, and we also have Tribeca. I am leaving out with one of these today. Go ahead and take 2.5 and tell me which one you think I am leaving with. You guys, this candle smells absolutely phenomenal. Just so you know, it is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, let's smell this. It says rose, and let's see how it smells. Super excited, you guys. Uh oh. Oh, that smells like a real rose. Oh my. It's good. Oh, okay. Very, very nice. I don't know if it's full bottle worthy, but it is good. This smells like a true rose, you guys. Like a true rose fragrance right here. Like the pink rose. A little bit of red, but a, a definitely a rose. Let me show you the bottle. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Bottle looks like this here. So see, it has the red rose and the pink rose with it as well. Gorgeous. I think it's time to try more fragrances from Zara, but I don't know which one I should get you guys. This is my absolute favorite. I probably am going to pick up another candle because it does smell that good. I absolutely love it. This is my favorite so far. Um, once I find something I like, it's so hard for me to try something else, but I'm going to try. I think I'm getting to the front of the line. I think I'm going to the front of the line. Yeah, I know this wasn't on the menu, but yeah. What do you want me to... I was supposed to be looking for clothes, you guys, but yeah, I got caught up in the fragrance. Sorry. Um, so here we are with this. I found fragrances! Could have ducked under that thing. No, I can't have dunked under there. What do you think I am? Dump, not dunk. <laughs> I couldn't have ducked under there. What is this camera? It's looking really weird. Right? Dump. 
far you guys it's my basic uniform okay it is a cape coat it is my bag it is a linen shirt tennis shoes this is the look okay for today very comfy and casual and chic vibes only so uh, anyways this is it so we're heading over to go see the movie now oh I need to apply some lip gloss we are very dry dwelling so I need to apply some lip gloss but we are heading over to see the movie now I am nice and full I couldn't finish my food so I'll take it home to go and um, I'm just waiting for my guy to come out now and we should be good to go we just finished shopping at Bloomingdale's um, they didn't have the cream I wanted to get the cream so bad but they only had one that had been damaged and you know she doesn't settle so we weren't buying it so that's it on that you ready so now we are headed to the movie theater and i'll call you guys back your arrived destination is on your left nobody was even thinking much of those stuff so so I'm not gonna ballet because they're ballet. Really no, it sucks. So we're just gonna regular park. Okay, guys, we are going into the movies. Um, I'm gonna talk now because I probably will not be able to talk once we get inside. Like I said, I haven't been to a movie theater in about two and a half, almost three years. And I used to be here like on a regular, right? Like we used to come to all the movies. What is this, my mask? Thank you, babe. So yeah, so that's what we're doing and if I do not see you in the movie theaters, darling, I will see you after and I'll let you know how it was. I won't do any spoiler alerts because um, I know how that is, but I'll definitely let sure. you guys know. You no, I'm not. I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm not going to talk a spoiler alert. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys after the movie. Hey, how are you? Oh my God, I haven't been here in so long. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you remember this because I was showing this to you guys about four and a half, five years ago, and um, I was here like almost every other weekend because they have like a nice dine restaurant and then they have outdoor dining as well. So I hadn't been here in a while, but apparently before you're able to get in, you do have to show your vaccination card. So you do have to have it on your phone or you have to show a negative COVID test. So just a heads up, just in case you have one near your area or you're coming to LA, California, that is a requirement. Hey girl, hey. Hey, how are you? I'm fabulous, how are you? I'm doing well, thank, thank you. you. You guys, we like a good bartender, somebody who is able to understand the assignment, okay? Hello. But yes, yeah, so we are here. Um, how long for the movie starts? 20, oh my God, see I told you guys we're gonna be early. We are 20, 30 minutes early, okay? So we're sitting out here. <laughs> I didn't see it, was it? Gosh. Anyways, um, him being all in my business. Don't do that. You're in my business. Don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, why is my camera crooked? <sighs> it's the struggle of this camera for me. I can't. You guys. Okay. Anyways, I'm checking out right now your comments to see what you thought about last week's vlog. And it looks like we had a good time. Which we did. Trip on it when I go, you can go slow. Bind it up on night, baby. Take your time. Let me know. I go on. I go on. When you tell me, I go on. When the neighbors see I turn down. 
It looks like I fell asleep in the movies, you guys, but I absolutely did not. I stayed awake the whole entire time. I did doze off one, but for the most part, I did stay awake. It was pretty, oh my God. Um, eyelashes, stay with me until the rest of the night. Anyways, um, it was pretty good. Ah, do you, is it a musty? I don't think so. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, it's not for me, but it is good. Um, my guy enjoyed it, and he really liked it. But um, for me, you know. But it's what you do when you are dating. You do what the other one wants to do, and then they do what you want to do, and it makes for a beautiful relationship. So, um, yeah, but it was pretty good. Um, it was very drama. It is Batman dwelling. So I'm super excited to see what you guys think, and I'm super excited to smell the fragrance that the House of Siage has come out with for the Batman um, premiere. I'm super excited to smell that as well. So I think I am ending the vlog here. I think we're gonna grab something to eat before we head home, and it has been fun spending the weekend with you guys. It's been fun spending, oh my God, you guys, hold on, almost fell. Okay, like seriously, I almost fell. <laughs> I seriously almost fell, but it has been so fun spending the weekend with you guys. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you um, give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course, if you enjoy the content and you like the vibe, of course. And thank you. Have a great night. And um, oh, and there was light. Hello, excuse you. Don't play with me. Like, don't play with me. Okay, don't play with me. Anyways, um, you guys, I'm leaving. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.